My name is Norman Oshiro, and today I'll be introducing our staff at our new MOA Wellness Center on 600 Queen Street. And um, basically, before we begin, though, I'd like to speak a little bit about the MOA, uh, what MOA is about, yeah, and the philosophy. So, first, MOA stands for Mokichi Okada Association, and Mokichi Okada. It's pretty much a renaissance man from Japan, and he was pretty much a healer, jewelry designer, architect, businessman, uh, you know, uh, just a renaissance man, and a visionary as well. And he came up with a, a wellness philosophy. Basically, um, this is what our goal is for the organization, is to create a new civilization. And this new civilization is a world in which the safety and longevity of human life is ensured. And so it's very simple to follow. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much following nature's law. Yeah. It's complying with nature's law uh, and incorporating that into our own lives. So uh, the Okada Health and Wellness Program is our uh, main program that we have at our wellness center, but it is an integrative medicine center, so we do have partners in the center. Uh, we have uh, doctors from the University of Integrative Medicine, uh, and also we have Kale's Natural Foods that will be uh, also joining us there, and we have uh, independent practitioners as well of various modalities, and so you'll be hearing from them as well. So. Uh, Again, the MOA philosophy, the uh, MOA health and wellness program consists of three basic programs. And one is this purifying therapy, Okada, uh, Okada Purifying Therapy or OPT. And basically that's a form of biofield energy that uh, we channel towards the recipient and their spiritual clouding, this clouding that they have built up in their spirit is actually incinerated by this laser-like most intense heat and then the physical the corresponding physical uh, toxins starts to liquefy and move out of the body so we've had many success stories with that and uh, so that is our earmark uh, you know uh, therapy method Okada had a 90% cure rate on any disease in his time uh, we just had a, a study done in Japan on 75,000 people and about a 75% rate. So it's very effective. So if you would like to try that, it's very cost effective. Uh, and in fact, I'll invite everyone to come and try it for free. Your first uh, you know, try at it is free. Yeah. So please come to our wellness center. Uh, also, another uh, major part of our program is the food, uh, natural foods, nature farming, program and basically it's about taking care of the body and so eating pure organic food in our uh, nature farm method that we use to farm that and then preparing it in a proper way uh, and exercise too. So the natural foods program consists of growing the food, preparing and eating the proper food and uh, the exercise part as well. And then finally we have the arts, you know, just through beauty. Uh, enjoying beauty, you can again purify this clouding of the spirit. So again the philosophy is that everything, all the illnesses starts in the spirit yeah, and you can heal that then the mind and the body follows. So today uh, I have uh, with me some managers of the different programs and they can talk a little bit about uh, what's happening with the programs. Uh, our newest member is Mai Fuji. Yeah. She's a holistic nutritionist, and uh, Mai, you want to talk about the classes you'll be doing? Okay, uh, so the new uh, natural food programming is a, a new program which uh, will, we will hold uh, food advocate courses which include uh, lectures, discussions, exercise, and uh, Sorry. 
Yeah, good game. Yes. My favorite color. Eighty two. And that's gonna be once a week for uh, every once once a month for three months, and we will also have a food food um, healthy seminar. food seminar. Yes. yes, which including a uh, cooking demo and. Uh, movies and lots of fun stuff. Yes. Kind of. Great. Yeah. So, our, again, our uh, grand opening is October fourth, yeah. and so we're still practicing, getting ready for this. And then uh, also we have with us today is Roy Goshi Otaguro, who's our manager for the arts and culture program. Uh, hello, I'm Roy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what I do is not strictly at the clinic. Um, what I, I have, uh, we we have after school art programs at six schools. We also have a statewide art contest that we hold every year for now uh, twenty five years running, and we also have our um, classes such as in flowers ikebana and. Uh, Chanoyu or tea ceremony, Japanese tea ceremony. And at the clinic itself, we practice the flowers and the tea, which is part of our therapies. Uh, why we do this? Uh, it's pretty simple. It, it's, uh, it's a way, first off, I don't know if you really realize how important beauty is in your daily life. But, uh, imagine, if you will, waking up and seeing a very drab gray everywhere. But it's that color. It's that uh, not just color, but that living color yeah, that we're greeted with every, every morning from a smile on a face to a, 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 a flower growing along the, a street or even a weed. Yeah, that we're greeted with and gives us this annoying uplift in our lives and such. And without that, uh, it wouldn't be, it would not just be boring and such like that, but uh, it's this wanting to live, wanting to see more, wanting to uh, get and receive more of this that drives us in our daily lives and such. So, um, what, what we try to practice is the awareness of beauty and Okada really believed in beauty being so, if it's so aware in everyone. For instance, if we had flowers wherever there are people, the negativity of today would be uh, drastically alleviated and such like that. So. Um, that's why we practice flowers. That's why we bring in flowers to schools and such like that and such. And more so, that's why we have our practice at our clinic. Yeah, thank you, Roy. And can you also let them know how beautiful that uh, tea room that you know, put together? Fortunately, <laughs> uh, uh, we have the golden tea room set up at the clinic and such. Uh, you might wonder what is the Golden Clinic uh, Tea Room and such. Uh, it's it's a historical tea room that was uh, back in the 1597, 87, excuse me, 1587 in Japan when Toritomi Hideyoshi became, was uh, recognized as the, the Grand Region of Japan. By the emperor, so he went to serve tea to the emperor. For this occasion, he built this portable golden tea room uh, with solid gold implements and everything that goes along with serving tea and such. And with his uh, grand tea master, Senorikyu, uh, tea was presented to the emperor at that time. This being a very uh, auspicious historical event, yeah. the MOE Museum had a historical um, replica uh, made and uh, 
uh, we fortunately being part of the MOE or a branch of the MOE Museum of Art in Japan we've been donated uh, uh, a copy or of a replica of that yeah. and you all you're all invited to come and drink a bowl of tea in front of the golden tea room it's a life-size replica so it takes up a whole room and uh, today we have Terry Terry June Amuro she is our manager for the wellness center so Terry, so the Wellness Center opened on June 1st, officially opened on June 1st, and our hours of operation are from Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 1. At that time, uh, we will offer the three therapies, the flower therapy, the teeth therapy, and the OPT. Um, the OPT. Uh, our phone number Give us a call if you would like to make a reservation or to set a spot, 952-6900. And our website is www.moahawaii.org. Yeah, so invite everybody to attend. Uh, again, our grand opening, she's, uh, soft opening was June 1st, but our grand opening is on October 4th. And on October 5th, we have a medical forum and we have doctors from all over the world talking about uh, different uh, practices in uh, integrative medicine. And, you know, uh, MOA Hawaii, we are an affiliate of MOA International, so we're in 14 countries. So we are, you know, we have doctors all over the world as well. So, anyway, thank you for letting us share. Uh, <laughs>